In this lesson on equations and inequalities, we are going to have a look at solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Right at the beginning, we're just quickly going to stand still at products. If we have a look at these two brackets, you will see they are both brackets to the power of 2. Now, in reality, the first one actually means x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3. This can now be multiplied out and simplified. You should also be familiar with the shortcut to directly write down the answer. And I'm now going to use that to do the second example. In the second one, I'm going to say x times x is x squared. Then for my middle term, it is the first term multiplied by the second term multiplied by 2, which will give me minus 10x. And then my second term squared, which is minus 5 times minus 5, and that gives me plus 25. We are now going to use the shortcut to work backwards. So let's say I give you x squared minus 10x, and I'm asking you what should the third term be, so that when I factorize this trinomial, I will definitely get a bracket squared. If you go back to multiplying out the bracket, we started with minus 5, which was doubled to minus 10, and the minus 5 was squared to minus 25. Now we're going to start at the minus 10. So our minus 10 will now be divided by 2 to get minus 5 in my bracket, and the minus 5 will once again be squared to get plus 25. So that means I need to add 25 to ensure that this trinomial will be factorized into a bracket squared. Let's have a look at another one. If I give you x squared plus 4x, and you need to determine what I should add there to ensure that it factorizes into a bracket squared, I'm once again going to start with the coefficient of x and halve that into my bracket, which will give me plus 2. That plus 2 will now be squared, and that is what I'll have to add. Let's look at a final one. Once again, to form a bracket squared, I'm going to start with the coefficient and halve that. So that will be minus 7 over 2. And now that minus 7 over 2 I'm going to square, which will become positive 49 over 4. In the previous lesson, we had a look at quadratic equations where we only had two terms in our equation. And we said that we can either now factorize or we can get the quadratic term on its own by moving the 9 to the other side and then taking the square roots on each side to get to my answer of plus or minus 3. Now we are now going to use this knowledge and the knowledge we just got where we can now manipulate a trinomial so that it will be able to factorize into a bracket squared to do completing the square. Example 1. Solve x by completing the square. Now, completing the square implies that you want a bracket squared equal to a constant value so that you can then solve x from there. So we are going to start off with our equation where we already have the constant on the right as 5. And now we want to go and manipulate the left so that it is factorized into a bracket squared. Now to do that, we are going to focus on the coefficient of x minus 4. And we are going to say we're going to halve that, which will give us minus 2. That minus 2 we are going to square, and that means we are going to add 4. On the left, we now have a trinomial that will definitely factorize into a bracket squared. But it is an equation, so if we add 4 on the left, we will have to go and add 4 on the right. If we now simplify the right, we have a bracket squared equal to 9. So we can now take the square root on both sides and end with x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus 3. 
This can now be split up into x minus 2 is the positive 3 or x minus 2 is negative 3. So x is 5 or x is minus 1. Example 2. Solve x by completing the square. Now, once again, we want a bracket squared equal to a constant. So I'm going to start off by moving the minus 7 to the right as plus 7. Now I need to manipulate my left so that I have my bracket squared. And I do this by taking the coefficient of x, the plus 5, and halving that, which is 5 over 2. That 5 over 2 I'm now going to square and add on the left, which will mean I add 25 over 4. If I add on the left, in an equation I also have to then add on the right. Then I can simplify my right hand side and that will be 53 over 4. Now I have my bracket squared equal to a constant, so I can take the square root on both sides. And on the right, I will then have plus or minus the square root of 53 over 4, which can also be written as the square root of 53 over 2. Now I'm going to split up into my positive and my negative options of answers, and then solve by subtracting 5 over 2 on the right-hand side. I'm going to leave both my answers in cert form. If you now have a look at example 3, you will see that it has one slight difference from the first two examples. In this example, we do not have 1x squared anymore, but we now have 2x squared. Now, for our manipulation of the left-hand side, we need a 1x squared. So, I'll have one extra step to start with, and that is to get rid of the 2x squared by dividing by 2 right through. So that will give me x squared plus 5x minus 7 equals 0. And now that I have only 1x squared, you will see that it looks exactly like example 2. So I can follow my normal steps.